love America, man, I must say. I love America. I got to say America is the greatest country in the world, okay? It's the greatest country in the world. The best place is no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be from. And we are all lucky to be here. Everybody in this room, lucky to be here. Even black people, lucky to be here. But if you're black, you gotta look at America a little different. If you're black, America's like the uncle that paid your way through college, but molested you. I understand that most blacks were not Democratic until Roosevelt. Most were Republicans. And at one point, uh, 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 the man that owned the Chicago Defender says, we can turn uh, old Abe's picture to the wall. We have paid our debts in full, meaning Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> And the blacks, because the Republican Party was no longer meeting the needs of blacks. During the uh, 60s and during the rise and all those things, uh, uh, Lyndon Bain Johnson made a concerted attempt to try to reach out to certain communities with his anti-poverty programs. <laughs> he went to Howard University in 1965 uh, uh, calling for uh, these affirmative action programs. And nothing is more freighted with meaning for our own destiny than the revolution of the Negro American. His words were, you cannot ask a man with a mule to catch up with a man with a caterpillar. You know what a caterpillar is? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a little insect. <laughs>
the 40 acres. We didn't get the mule, so we decided we'd ride this donkey as far as it would take us. But let me say one thing about it, which is, is it seems to me stands out as a remarkable fact, and that is the consistent, consistently high levels of support for Democratic candidates pretty much throughout the country, there are some exceptions that come from African Americans, in spite of all the things that have, uh, have been done uh, over the years to compromise the reasons for that support. So that, that, that's a fact. Thank you.